What's up everyone, uh, it's Joseph Lotuna again, and with more Voice of the World. And moving on to a slightly different topic, uh, to do basically with 3D fighters. And 3D fighters of course are very big, always have been, have a huge fan base. From Dead or Alive to Virtua Fighter, So Calibur Tekken, you know, and so on. Even, even like the cases of like Body Roar for example. And despite the fact that 3D fighters have been really big, of course there is some competition between 3D fighters and 2D fighters. And even though today's topic isn't about that, there are it is to do with like how there are indeed, you know, quite a few complications within the 3D fighter community. Quite a bit of bickering, and obviously, even even though now definitely uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Dead or Alive 5 are both out. Uh, this comment comes from quite a while ago, w way before uh, Dead or Alive 5 and Tekken Tag 2 were out. and has to do with uh, how SRK, as in Shoryuken.com, was posting uh, videos, links, and news about Dead or Alive 5. And of course, too bad press, mainly because of Dead or Alive 5, but also in comparison to other fighting games, uh, such as like v VF5 and obviously Tekken. And a guy made a very smart point, and I'm going to read it out to you, once again anonymous as usual. And then he said, There's Tekken, Virtua Fighter, and Soul Calibur news on the front page all the time. They just realized a lot of new De Dead or Alive 5 videos and media over the past few days are out, and so there's a lot of news for it right now. But if you want to start a DOA versus Tekken versus Soul Calibur versus Virtua Fighter War, go right ahead. Gang Warfare is what today's craptacular FTC is all about. If we're lucky, maybe we'll destroy the entire genre with self hatred. Fingers crossed. Yeah, quite a negative one, and quite a di direct one, even. and. He's basically saying how, or she, whoever it might have been, is saying how that to basically compare uh, all of these games is, is stupid in the first place. Obviously people compare games all the time, 2D fighters, 3D fighters, and just any other type of game or any type of game genre. And it's, it's stupid how, in general, anything can be posted on SRK and cause issues, not even necessarily about the actual news itself, but simply because of the fact that there's this assumption that SRK posts only Capcom related or predominantly Street Fighter related material when in fact they don't they post anything fighting in related in general and of course posting videos and news about DOA 5 is the smart thing to do it's the way to get the news out to the people just like Event Hubs does so for that reason of course you're going to expect to see that on the front page and of course you see more of it yes indeed you could say the, the, the majority of posts have to do with Street Fighter and Marvel because there's a lot of people in these communities, a lot of people that do things for these communities every day so of course you're going to see them on Event Hubs and SRK but that doesn't mean you'll never ever see anything from DOA or Tekken which are both really big games despite the fact that not everyone might be a fan of them but they do have fans. So if something gets posted about Dead or Alive, or about Tekken, or a Virtua Fighter, it isn't a cause to start making, one, stabs at SRK and start saying snide comments like, ooh, SRK posting non-Capcom stuff, ooh, how mysterious, or whatever. It's no need to start comparing any of these 3D fighters to one another, because they're completely different, even Virtua Fighter and DOA, even though they have quite a few similarities. There's just no need to do this, and this guy's basically saying that it doesn't make any sense how whenever any of these gets mentioned there has to be pretty much just an all-out war between comparing 3D fighters and he thinks that it's just completely stupid and that we may just ruin the genre and the fan base and the community while we're at it by just being stupid and like hateful about everything. It's unfortunate but unfortunately that's what happens in the community from time to time. So for that reason I'd have to, I just have to say on the subject that when it, when it comes to seeing things on SRK, when it comes to hearing about news about other fighting games, 3D or 2D or whatever, just pay your respect to it. If you don't like it, that's perfectly understandable. If you hate it, that's also understandable. And hey, you're always going to see trolls, you're always going to see rage comments. That is uh, completely unavoidable. However, starting a, a, a basically a war between different titles, it, it helps nobody. Spreading hatred also helps nobody unless it like... I don't know, it gives you catharsis or something. But other than that, it's just completely illogical to compare games like Dead or Alive and Tekken or whatever. It just doesn't make any sense. SRK is a great source of news. It's a great source of community feedback and developer input into seeing what's going on in the FTC pretty much. So, you know, let's, let's not hate so much on what we don't particularly like and actually give equal worth 
to things that other people appreciate, at the very least. So yeah, that's it for today. Just Sotuna, see you later.